Welcome to another segment on SecureSet Spray Foam. You know, people have asked us so many times about how do I address an issue where I have a void under a concrete slab that may be a basement, garage floor, a sidewalk, carport, but I don't have access from the side. You know, with access, you can fill the voids very easily with uh, tube extensions, but what do you do if the only way you can get to it is to drill a hole in the concrete. So what we're going to do today, we're going to show you how to fill a void under a con concrete slab that is not accessible from the side. But there's two things that we have to uh, determine. Number one, how much product will you dispense in a given amount of time? Because you've tapped and you've determined how big your void is but how long will it take to fill that void? So what we've done is we have uh, two one cubic foot um, boxes here. And what we were able to, to accomplish or to determine was that when we use a, a new kit and we spray the foam into the box and we time it for one minute, we get, we, we can dispense one cubic foot of expanded foam in one minute. So now we know time and volume, and the only thing that's missing is basically how big is your void. So once you've drilled the, the hole in your concrete and you probe it to determine how deep your void is, we've set up a chart, basically uh, setting it up from like a one inch void, two inch, three, four, five, six, seven, and if you can determine how deep the void is and you know that in one minute you can dispense one cubic foot of foam, the, the next question is how far will that travel? So as an example, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to have a three and a half inch deep void. We're going to dispense the foam for one minute and in that time we should be able to create a 25 inch diameter uh, area of foam. So we have our test set up outside. Basically what we've done is we've created a four by four box uh, and we've put plexiglass over the top to simulate uh, the concrete and we've drilled a hole in it and we're going to dispense the foam so that you can actually visualize the spreading of the foam uh, if you have zero access from the side and you only have the hole that you drill from the top. So let's go do the, the demo and you'll see how you're, you'll be able to fill this blind void uh, and know how much product to put in. This is our simulated void. We have a uh, 16 uh, square foot area without access from the side. So we've done a few things. Number one, We've drilled an access hole, and, well, the void is about uh, three and a half inches deep. So, we've set up the tank, we've already turned them on, so first thing is always, we're gonna do a test shot, make sure everything is flowing well. Okay, we're going to start the timer. We're going to run this for one minute. As you can see, with a three and a half inch void, we're starting to get a circular expansion. We're at uh, about 25 seconds right now. Forty seconds. Fifty seconds.
One minute. Okay, we'll just keep this on here just to make sure we don't get any blowback. So you can see the foam continue to expand. And as our test showed, we're, we're going to uh, get about a 24 inch diameter hole. The foam will always go to the point of least resistance. So that's what you see is happening there. So we'll just pull this out. Not quite done yet. So it looks like our expansion is complete. We'll protect our gun. Set the thing. That's how you can access and fill a void under a garage floor, under a carport. Basically, when you have no access from the outside, you can still take care of these uh, known voids. So if you had hammer sounded this and you knew that there might be uh, another void in a corner of your garage, you can move to another place and then continue to uh, the fill it. But this is how it's done. Fantastic. So exactly four minutes ago, we stopped injecting foam under this plexiglass simulation. <laughs> Can't beat that. This is what's going to what it's going to be like underneath your concrete floors. You'll have no worries with issues about voids anymore. So, you've seen the demo. Now you know how to access a blind void under a slab of concrete, be it your basement, your garage floor, carport, or what have you. Again, drill the hole, measure the depth of the void, set the nozzle, and activate the spray. And with that, you'll be able to determine with the chart how much spread you're going to get for a given amount of time. Again, thank you very much. We've had another great day with SecureSet.